So in this video, we're going to use the gig board in an acoustic guitar setup. So what I have here is just a basic acoustic rig. Um, I do have a Taylor 314CE IR or impulse response. Then there's a little bit of EQ. There's some compression in there if you needed to use that. This is a uh, Xavier uh, acoustic from guitarfetish.com. I have it on the full piezo uh, setting because it does have an internal microphone in the sound hole. And I'm just using the IR uh, as like a tonal shaper. Let's see what happens when I turn that off. So. And we can still use the EQ if we need to. Okay, I do have a little bit of compression on there. All right, let's turn the IR on. So I'm still trying to get used to using acoustic IRs. Um, sometimes they don't always sound uh, the most natural. But I do have a bunch of other ones in here as well. I can mic it with the Norman U87. All right, let's go ahead and tune. You can see how the head rush reacts to the tuner. And if I wanted to have that tuner available without it being muted, I can do that as well. Okay, and I can also tap in the tempo while I'm in this window. So it's pretty cool. Now, if you really wanted to, you could go in and you could add some other effects. Um, maybe you want like a little bit of chorus in there. Just do like a mono light. Now for me personally, I probably would not be switching between rigs a whole lot because if I'm just doing acoustic, you know, even if you didn't have the gig board, you want to be doing a lot of switching anyway. So, you know, just make one rig, have all the effects that you want in there, maybe create a few scenes, then you're good to go. So you could have like one scene, be just like a normal, you know, dry acoustic sound. You can have another scene with, a, with a, some reverb in there. Maybe another scene with uh, some compression and delay. I mean, I don't know. Whatever you'd want. So let's just have some fun and let's see what happens if I throw in a little bit of dynamic delay. And we're going to say just default mono. Let's go in and tap the tempo. Okay, and turn the mix down a little bit. It's 
it's pretty cool. Let's say, for instance, that we don't want this to be synced up. Let's just see what happens if we add in. Uh, let's see what happens if we add in just a little bit of delay. All right, so at that point, it basically acts as a very short reverb sound. Okay, it's not too bad. Let's turn the mix down really low. Cool. So if you want like a uh, like a coursing kind of effect, let's turn the mix up. Okay, not too bad. Let's add in some reverb. Um, let's do 11. And the, um, the 11 reverb has a few different um, presets in here. Let's just go with a, uh, a rich hall. Double tap. You can see we got our parameters here. We can change the tone. I can even use my finger, which is really neat. Turn the pre-delay up, turn the mix down. So by doing that, I mean, you can literally just be like, bam, bam, bam. You know, just use your finger. So it's really cool. Let's keep the mix down pretty low. Turn our delay off. All right, very cool, guys. Um, so this is an example of just using the uh, gig board as an acoustic rig. I am running everything through my FRFR speaker over here, and it sounded really good. So typically when I play at church, I'll bring the, the big brother you know, headrush pedal board. Um, but if I just need something small, if I'm using it for bass or for acoustic, or if, you know, if I want to use the the main pedal board and somebody else in the band wants to use the gig board, well, now I got two of them that's available so we can both share rigs and whatever else. So I know that's pretty cool. All right, guys, I am Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.